guys, Jason Olsford here with Photillustrator, and today I've got a really good tutorial for you. It's going to be short, but it's going to be really good, especially if you have problems with your file size. So I got a message from uh, Martin Richards, and this is really what uh, prompted this tutorial. So he says, hi Jason, how are you? I'm good, by the way. I see you have been keeping busy with the portraits. Glad to see it is going well. I've got the bit between my teeth and what you said about your change of perspective on life has stuck with me. So putting the effort in when my rest days from work come around. That's awesome to hear. Currently working on my first commissioned portrait, which is for a friend's dog walking business. That's awesome. Good job, Richard, for putting your neck out there and going and getting some work and getting paid for it. Even better. I'm really happy with it so far, but one issue you may be able to help me with is that in the future, which is when I come to saving my file in Photoshop, it says it can't because it's over four gigabytes. Big problem. How do you save yours as yours much be, must be bigger than mine? That's probably true, but let's get into this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to save files in Photoshop because I had the same exact problem when I was starting out or you know about halfway through as my work got bigger and bigger and more complex my files got bigger and bigger and once I hit that four gigabytes I was having a problem saving it so what I would do is I would uh, compress everything or flatten everything uh, which works sometimes but if you want to go back and change something it's not very good for that so I had to figure out a way, and when I went on the internet and I looked and I searched, I couldn't really find any way. I think somewhere along the line in my search, I found something. And I'm gonna show you what that something is today in this tutorial. So if you have files bigger than four gigabytes in Photoshop, this tutorial is exactly for you. So let's go in, let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so here we are in Photoshop and this is a, a portrait that we just finished, uh, we went out to LA, we photographed this family out in LA and it's a spectacular portrait, it's awesome, but it runs into the same problem that Martin Richards was having, which is the file's just too big to save in Photoshop. And so where you know that is if you go right down here, it says 4.8 gigs. And I have to tell you, this is after I compressed a whole lot of stuff already. So I already compressed the entire house that we did, uh, which is composed of, I, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be a lot of images for that. And so it's composed, and this is our, our file for the house in of itself. Uh, not sure what that's going to look like when we cut that off. Computer takes a little while to catch up with us, but anyway. Um, so that's, that's a problem we have. The file's too big. There's a couple things. One thing that you should that I should point out before we go any further is if you have everything uh, like all your layers in a smart object one way come on now work with me a little bit here buddy one that way that you can make this file smaller I'm going to try to show you here okay so right here we have a smart object one way that you can make this file smaller is actually by converting that to a rasterized uh, layer so you do that to all your layers and that will start to reduce your uh, file size, maybe below the 4.5. And I have to tell you, a lot of times, even if it's 4.0, I can't save it. So let's go up here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if I'm going to save this uh, onto, let's say, my desktop. And we're going to save it as a Photoshop or I usually do like a TIFF file. Uh, Photoshop or TIFF is fine. And then you try to save this. And then we're going to go through the saving process. And this is going to take a little bit of time before it tells me this is too big for me to work on. So we'll wait here for it and then we'll pick it back up once we've hit that uh, alert mark. All righty, guys. So as you can see, it says it gave us Adobe Photoshop gave us the alert that said could not save this file because this document exceeds the four gigabyte limit 
to for TIFF files. And that's the same with just about every format except for one. So let's go ahead and show you how to save that. So we're going to go up here to save as, and uh, we're going to go to our desktop. And instead of Photoshop or TIFF, we're going to save it as a large document format, which is going to be a PSB. If you look at Photoshop, that's PSD. So a large document format is going to be a for, uh, PSB. All right. So you go ahead and save that. And then it will go through its entire save process. We'll pick it up on the back end of this because uh, it'll take a little bit of time just because it's a big file. Uh, we'll pick this up on the back end of the save and close this video tutorial out. All right, guys, so the file has completely saved, and I just want to show you real quick what it looks like in on your desktop and your file system. So this is the folder that I have for all the masters on this uh, particular composite portrait. Uh, as you can see, we have individuals. The smaller ones that are small enough to save as a TIFF, I always do. Those always get trashed after I'm finished with the portrait anyway. And then as you can see, the PSBs, the, the large format ones, are look a little bit different. So you see the little Photoshop logo and it says PSB rather than TIFF. If it was a Photoshop file, it would say PSD. So uh, you gotta look at which one that is, a PSB versus a PSD. Uh, so that's how you save a large format, larger than four gigabyte file in Photoshop. Super easy. Uh, this will uh, answer your question there on that. Uh, it's hard. Come on! All right, I guess my mic decided to just quit working on me here. So anyway, to close this tutorial out, if you have a document, a composite that you're working on in Photoshop that's larger than four gigabytes, the only way to really save it that I know of is through saving it as a large Photoshop format file. So a PSB, not a PSD or a TIFF. So anyway, that concludes this awesome tutorial. And I'll see you next time. By the way, if you have questions, leave it in the comments. Go to the website, www.photillustrator.com, and leave a comment over there. I really like it when you go to the website and leave comments. I just like it. It's just me. So, anyway, I'm out. This is Photillustrator. I don't know. How do I close this thing out? I'll see you next time on another awesome tutorial by Photillustrator. See ya.